Hi everyone, welcome to Food for Thought. Today we are answering the question, how do plants grow? This question comes from two students, Riley in grade two and Naya in grade six. Thank you both for asking this question. Before we get started, just a quick reminder that the survey to submit questions to Food for Thought is temporarily closed, but it will open again in a few months. Now, let's talk plants. Plants are everywhere and all plants start as seeds and seeds are all around us. You see seeds in apples, in sunflowers. Last week we talked about how bread came from wheat seeds. And did you know that some foods that we eat are seeds? For example, popcorn kernels. Let's look at the inside of the seed. There are a few parts of a seed. One part is the seed coat, which covers the outside of the seed. This keeps the seed warm and protected, just like your winter coats keep you warm and protected from the weather. Another part of the seed is the food storage, which is the part of the seed that stores nutrients for the tiny plant called the embryo before the baby plant can make food for itself. Let's talk more about the embryo or that baby plant. If you look closely at the inside of the seed, you'll see that there's a tiny baby plant curled up in there. This little plant sleeping inside the seed is kind of like how humans start as babies inside their mommy's tummies. The little plant that is hiding in each seed is sleeping until a few things wake it up. Have you ever been sleeping near a window and woken up because the sun is shining right in your eyes? Sunshine also wakes up the baby plant inside seeds. Plants use the sunshine to make food to grow. Seeds also need warm temperatures. Because the plants inside the seeds are just babies, they need to be warm and cozy before they can start growing. Some seeds don't need to be that warm to grow, and these are plants that we see in the winter, like kale and collards, but other seeds they need to be really warm to start growing, like tomatoes and peppers. And by planting seeds in the soil, the soil keeps the seeds nice and warm and covered and protected from the cold outside air, like a blanket. Seeds also need water to start growing. Just like humans need water when they're thirsty, seeds need water too. Once a tiny plant inside a seed has all the things it needs to start growing, it gets all excited and it pops up out of the seed coat. The plant grows upwards from the seed coat until it pokes out of the soil. The plant uses that little bit of food that's stored in the seed to feed itself until it can grow leaves to make food. The baby plant will continue to grow upwards out of the soil because it's reaching for the sun. Plants reach for the sun because I said, as I said earlier, the baby plant needs the sun to make food for itself. Humans need to eat food to grow, but plants use sunshine to make their own food to grow. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Plants use their leaves to do something called photosynthesis to make food. This is a really cool process because it means that plants don't have to go food shopping and cook their food, they just make it themselves. The plants use the sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to create food for themselves. And as they make more food for themselves, they get bigger and bigger, just like kids get bigger when they eat good food. The plants grow taller and taller and their leaves grow wider to help them capture as much sunlight as they can to keep making food. Just like humans grow up from a newborn, to an infant, to a child, to an adult, plants also grow and grow during their life cycle. As the baby plant starts to grow up and out of the soil, it starts to get stronger and stronger. Not only does its leaves get bigger, but it also grows roots. Roots are those long, curvy looking things that you see at the bottom of a tree. All plants have roots to help hold them into the ground and also to help them get more nutrients. There are nutrients in the soil which help the plants grow and grow. Humans need nutrients like proteins and carbohydrates, and the plant continues to grow both upwards towards the sun, outwards with bigger leaves, and downwards with bigger and stronger roots. All right, friends, that's a little introduction to how plants grow. If you have any new questions about this process, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for tuning in, everyone, and I will see you again next week for another episode of Food for Thought. Bye!